shield. Check this out, babe. Close your ears. <laughs> Next level shit. My phone is there. I'm sorry if the light is bugging you, but this is the only way you'll be able to see it because we're in an enclosed garage. So I just wanted to pull the camera out so that everything's a live experience because that's what I enjoy. I enjoy giving you guys a live experience. Look at that. Just look at it. I'm going to let you guys just take a look at it while it's roaring. Wow, that's some ingenuity. All right, check it out, guys. Get ready. <laughs> doors are pretty simple compared to the McLaren and the Tesla and all these new cars that have been coming out the door is so simple you just yank on it but mr. passive income addict there's no key thingy and there's no button here when the key thingy's not here and it's usually right here and when it's right here it's right there. how do you turn the car on we're just gonna be sitting in a cold car snowing our asses off Ferraris are on the steering wheel and then you hear that once you hear that you're ready to run Snow, wet, sport, comfort, traction off, stay away from traction off. Traction off is meant to claim lives if you don't know how to control that power. Just so you guys know, I had a hard time figuring out how to put this car in park because as you can see, there's only a launch auto in reverse. So, if you actually look down in here, I started using the e-brake, but I'm dumb because there's a button above it that says auto park. New thing that you guys gotta know, how do you put this in drive? Come on, it took me about three and a half minutes to figure it out, and that's a really long time for someone considered a car guy like myself, right? You wanna put it in drive, you put your foot on the brake, and you're gonna wanna hold this back. This does not swing with the steering wheel. It always stays in place, just like this one. Just so you guys know, there is no more left and right uh, on this side. You can't put the blinkers on from this side. You need to start getting used to using each hand right and left. You have to be ambidextrous and click it or click it. But there's nothing behind it to help you. It's a paddle shifter behind you. We'll get to that in a moment. And if you want it off, you just double click it. So that's pretty different. It takes some time to get used to. Hands. For both hands, you can hold the left side and the right side paddle shifter simultaneously. You'll be put into neutral. Look, even this, even the freaking camera's rolling on that. Now, if you just hold your foot on the brake and click the right one, the right paddle shifter, you'll find yourself in gear one. Now, you see that auto? That was from the auto button I was telling you about. I do not like the way they shift for me. I shift for myself. So you click that auto button, and now you're in complete control of every single gear. The windows go down from here. This car was made for people who like to use their right and left hands. And if you're not getting a decent view, I'll give you a decent sound. Check it. I need to pay attention because there's curbs on both sides. It's a very tight turn. And that's another thing about this car. The turning radius is not the best at all. Whether you're busting a U-turn, way I'm standing here at life is grand life is grand in a Ferrari and even if we didn't have a Ferrari it's still grand so no complaints there <laughs> 